How's it going, everybody? It's John Von Zombie. So, I wanted to talk about Xbox and a few things going on with it. So, I'm just going to jump right in. And um, I want to talk about State of Decay 3 uh, and the recent layoffs and closures of some studios. Uh, the, the only game right now... Actually, one of the only three games I'm currently waiting for, like GTA 6 is one I'm waiting for. Uh, fuck, what else? I forget the other one I'm really... Oh, Stalker 2 and State of Decay 3. Now, Stalker 2 is coming out in September. GTA 6, probably 2026. And I'm going to say State of Decay 3 is probably going to be out in 2026. Probably near the end. That That's just my guess. That might not happen. Like, what's going on with, with, with Microsoft stepping in and, and, and kneeling on fucking the, the people who run Xbox is fucking ridiculous. Satya Adela has no idea. He's too business-brained. You know, I, I, I agree with Alex. The guy is way too business brain and he has no idea how to deal with the gaming market. He looks at it from only a business perspective, not like a ground level perspective where he could sympathize somewhat with the gaming community as far as uh, pricing for like Game Pass. And I say Game Pass because that's something that they want to increase. I have a big fucking issue with that. When I first started using Game Pass, I believe it was 2017. And it was like still called what? Gold back then? Then it turned into Game Pass Ultimate. Okay? Uh, and that's even fucking ridiculous because, number one, and I didn't realize, well, I did realize it. What am I talking about? I knew I was paying fucking double for for going on the internet and, and playing multiplayer like a fucking idiot but the trade-off was like playing all these other games that i couldn't play if i didn't pay for the service and there was no way to pay for the service without not having to pay for the online experience if you understand what i'm saying because the whole package is one thing right you pay to play online, you get a discount on the games with gold, and you fucking get to play all these other games on Game Pass, right? The, you know, and there was free games with, with gold every couple months, or every month, there was three free games with gold. So, you guys all know how that goes who, who use Game Pass, or have, used, or have used Game Pass over the last couple of years. Now, when I started using Game Pass in 2017... It was it was nine ninety nine in Canada. That's where I'm in. I'm in Ontario, and it was nine ninety nine. Now, okay, as of the last bill, it's how much was it? I'm gonna say around twenty one dollars. Okay, twenty one dollars. That's as fucking far as I go. Me personally, that's as far as I go. I ain't paying more than twenty five fucking dollars for this. Okay. Because at that point, like, I may as well just go buy a fucking game, right? So, and I understand part of me really hates saying that because of all the games I get to play, right? So, it's it's really like a rock and a hard place when when coming to a decision whether or not to stop and cancel my Game Pass subscription or keep going, you know what happened with Helldivers and how the community came together was fucking amazing. And it was so good to see that. I've been playing video games, let's see, since I was five. Okay? My first introduction to video games was baseball on Atari. It wasn't even Pong. It was baseball on Atari. Um, probably before that, it was Pac-Man at the burger place sitting with my mom and you guys you young guys probably won't understand this but the tables you used to sit at in these restaurants had the pac-man game in them okay stick around to the end of the video because 
I'm probably going to put a picture of what I'm talking about, those Pac-Man tables, okay, in restaurants. They were fucking wild, man. You ate, you played Pac-Man. Like, you looked down, and that's where the like that's where the screen was with the game. And the controllers were there and everything. Like, not controllers, but, like, you know you know how arcade games look, right? With the, with the joystick and everything and the buttons. But, yeah, so that's what it was back then. And, you know, then when I was nine, I got a Commodore 64. And that was my introduction to PC gaming. And I had a shoebox full of of floppy disks, a shoebox full, okay? Uh, my stepdad would get games from his buddy at work on floppy disks, and on these floppy disks were like 10, 11 games. I had so many fucking games to choose from. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous, okay? Jumpman, Pitfall, fucking Pac-Man, Tomb, um... Holy shit, man. Like, I can't even tell you how many other games. Oh, Deer Hunter. Funny thing about Deer Hunter, um, Jeffrey Card from Undead Labs, who's made State of Decay 2 and now 3, he's the lead on 3, was a part of making Deer Hunter for Commodore 64. That guy is fucking old school, man. Shout out to Jeffrey Card. Um, he's a great fucking guy, man. Anyway, so, yeah, so Game Pass and the increase. I, I, I don't agree with it, man. I don't agree with it. I, I want to know how you guys feel. Uh, yeah, let me know in the description. And, you know, how do you guys feel about what's going on with what Sarah Bond said? I watched that. I tried to watch that interview. I couldn't fucking sit through it, man. I couldn't sit through it. The amount of times... She was, like, deflecting and not answering, just straight fucking answers was ridiculous. The very first question she was asked, okay, was why those studios shut down. She didn't even answer the question. Didn't even answer the question. And, that's what, and then fucking Matt Booty saying, we need prestige points. No, how did he, how did he say it? We need to win. We need to win an award and prestige points by putting out smaller games. I think that was the quote. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that was the quote. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up. Hi Fi Rush, Shadow Drop? What? That wasn't enough for you? Like, what? what is going on at Microsoft? I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out, man. It's, it's fucking crazy. Um, also, DEI Detected got hacked last night. That was something I wanted to mention. I saw um, I saw a tweet from uh, Hypnotic. Uh, shout out to Hypnotic. Guys, listen, if you guys want to watch a really good stream every night at about 9 o'clock that talks about gaming and everything, Hypnotic is the place to be. That live stream is kicking um super nice guy uh so yeah but anyway so that's all i got i just wanted to shoot the shit about you know my thoughts about what's going on uh also too Alyssa mercante getting doxxed i want to i want to reiterate this again okay she deserved it okay she deserved it and the reason why i say she deserved it it's because she chose to go after someone's family and try to ruin a marriage by contacting this guy's wife and talking shit about him. Oh, do you agree with your husband and ha harassing females online? Meanwhile, he wasn't. Smash JT never fucking harassed anybody. Not that I saw. I saw all the, all the tweets he had put up. Nothing was harassing. But Alyssa. Oh, Alyssa. You want to talk about fucking harassment? Oh, my God. Like, dude, you thought you were fucking slick going into a Discord and asking people why they don't put their fucking names because you were fishing for fucking real names. How stupid, how stupid do you have to be to think something like that would work? Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus Christ. This is why I said, this is exactly why I said you're a disgrace to the Italian community because Italians are way more smarter than that. 
when we want to fish for information or when we need to go get something. We know how to do it. But clearly you don't. Which makes you a fucking disgrace. Disgraziata. Okay? That's the term for Alyssa Mercante. If you want to learn some Italian. Disgraziata. Okay? Anyways. I'm going to let you guys go. I love you all. Um, thank you to all my new subs. Okay? Uh, my live streams lately have been kicking. Okay? It's been really fun. Uh, I've been away for a couple of days. Uh, I came to meet my grandson. Uh, for the first time and spend some time with my kids uh, I'll be back in a couple days with another follow-up for live stream uh, and yeah all right anyways guys love you all I'm John Bonzombie I'm out of here peace <laughs>